hey guys welcome back to the channel today's video is all about my most complimented perfumes for winter i am a perfume junkie and if you like me and you like perfumes too this video is definitely for you i'm gonna start with my newest edition dolce and gabbana the one i would say for the past month this has been my everyday perfume it's an amber and floral kind of scent so it's definitely suitable for winter and for fall it's strong i would say this lasts about 10 to 12 hours when i wear this in the morning i normally don't need to reapply it so it's strong enough this is the eau de parfum and this one is in the I think this is a 100 milli. No, this is a 75 milliliters. The keynotes for this are amber, jasmine, peach, and vanilla. It's warm and spicy, and it's in the warm, sweet type of family. So definitely, like I said, suitable for winter and fall. This retails for about a hundred and I believe 32, but love it. I am. It's very feminine. It smells very expensive so i have been loving this and i always get compliments every time i wear this most complimented for winter perfume number two is tom ford black orchid this one is also a warm floral so it's definitely suitable for winter and for fall this is the fragrance that i only wear at night time it's really strong in my opinion like i don't wear this during the day it's very mysterious it literally goes a long way it has a little oriental kind of um undertone it just gives that little bit of oriental scent definitely um a perfume that i will wear when i'm going out at night dinner club bar and something like that and you just literally just need a little bit the bottle is you know also very like evening and night-ish mysterious-ish so definitely one of my favorite for winter for night date night um, scent this is um the medium because they have a bigger version and a smaller one this is the medium one 50 ml and this retails for about 150 dollars next on our list is the twilly elmas i know i've shown you guys this perfume so many times this is hands down one of my most favorite fragrances of all time in fact this can go all year you can wear this one for all all season this is a floral fragrance it's powdery it's floral so you can definitely wear this like all year long but because it has that like sandalwood it has a little ginger um, notes in it is also suitable for winter i've also been wearing this one a lot literally on repeat before i started wearing the dolce the tweety was my everyday fragrance i also have a little like miniature of it that i carry in my purse that you can literally smell the ginger on the tongue when i um found out that the, one of the kilos were in ginger i was like that's what i smell so very overpowering so it's but the, it's very smooth it's really smooth so if you're not into like stronger scent this is definitely for you uh it's a classic i mean Tweety Hermes is a classic i bought this one back in the summer when i got my um orange sandals i got this this is the big bottle this is 85 ml and this one retails for about 139 140 the bottle is really cute it gives you know it's hermes i like the twitty like little detail bottle is cute smells cute you're definitely gonna get attention with this people are definitely gonna ask you what you're wearing because i get that question every time i wear this smells really good smells expensive smells chic very feminine if you are into feminine scents i would highly recommend the hermes twitty most complimented perfume number four Louis Vuitton Attrape Rêve I've shown you guys this one before this is Attrape Rêve by the way is French for dreams catcher uh, I've shown you guys this one before I've had this for a few years now I don't wear it a lot just because this is like one of my favorite and like higher end at the same time so i kind of go easy on it i don't want to like overdo it i have my period of time where i just use this one maybe for like a week or two this will be in my bag and then i quickly put it back because i just don't want to use it up because this goes out of stock a lot i'm not sure if it's back in stock now but it's always almost sold out at Louis Vuitton. so i try to um i try to you know be a little stingy with it the good thing with Louis Vuitton, apparently you can go and actually have them refill your bottles. Also, I heard you can also get 
like them to engrave your bottle like engrave your initials or engrave your name on the bottle that would be super cute too but let's get into the notes for this perfume keynotes are cocoa peony accord lychee accord patchouli heart turkish rose ginger and bergamot this is in the family of amber floral so if you're not into floral perfumes you can still you might still like this because it's like a soft floral this smells um if i have to describe this in like a few words i would say elegant feminine and sophisticated sophisticated this is very sophisticated that's the word i was definitely looking for this will definitely get attention you people will definitely ask you what you're wearing other women would definitely ask you what you're wearing because it has that catchy that very catchy smell love this like i said one of my favorite a little pricey is 280 but 280 dollars but actually let me tell you the story of how i got this one for cheaper so years ago i went into lv got uh, i was buying the either my alma bb or my never full uh, bag and i saw this perfume i smelled it i really like it but i was unsure at the time but i had a family member coming um in the coming to the states from france so i had them buy this for me which actually came out way cheaper than it is here but i've had it ever since it's probably three or four years old and it's still there but i also have a lot of perfumes so I can sometimes I can go like months without touching my perfume because I have a big perfume collection but this also is a very long lasting fragrance in fact like I've worn this one and still smell it on me like the next day that's how strong it is and then the next most complimented perfume for winter is the Chanel this is the original the classic coco chanel eau de parfum i've had this for years i bought this for myself for my birthday like a few years ago um something happened here to where the magnet doesn't work anymore i don't know if i can get it repaired but it doesn't really bother me because it's sitting in my tray most of the time anyway but this is a classic scent this is this smells rich it smells elegant you can almost tell that is chanel when if you smell it on somebody these i also wear it very rarely i literally like i wear this one it depends where i'm going like i wear this one if i'm going somewhere where i want to like stand apart somewhere elegant like to like a really like elegant restaurant nice dinner um sometimes when i go to like high-end like shopping i wear this one too just to stand out but it smells amazing this is an amber spicy fragrance so it's amber spicy so it's more like a a toned down spicy so kind of like a mild spicy which makes it very suitable also for winter and for fall but actually these i wear all year long <laughs> i literally wear this one all year long it's so rich it's so it's beautiful it's rich it's very elegant this fragrance was originally created in 1984 i was born in 1984 so this is this is an oldie but goodie love it definitely one of my all-time favorites and because i bought it for myself too i'm extra attached to it <laughs> so the note for this one are um, bulgarian rose coriander peach jasmine and mandarin orange the middle notes are cloves rose and orange blossom mimosa and clover the base notes are amber sandalwood tonka bean civet or civet or poponax vanilla and labdanum that's a lot of notes that is a lot of notes that's why it's definitely harder to mimic or reproduce this uh, perfume you can you rarely you can rarely find like a dupe of this that will smell like very similar I also have a Coco Mademoiselle. It's more like a mellower uh, scent. So that one, is, it will be more suitable for uh, probably warmer months. But since we're doing winter edition, I am getting, I'm taking the more like rich kind of scents, which is um, definitely this one. I wasn't gonna add this last one into the list, but we have to, <laughs> we have to. 
as much as this is hyped up it is rightfully so you can you can run away from Baccarat Rouge 540 even if you wanted to my co-worker um I wore this the other day and I was like I know what you're wearing like what's this scent I it's familiar and she was like Baccarat I'm like oh, I know it I know it every time I wear this everybody will like people will I'll always ask me mostly women they'll be like that smells really good it just has a very distinct smell but this thing is soft this is really soft like you can Sometimes, like I said in the past videos, I don't even smell it on myself, but somebody always just asks me, what are you wearing? It smells so good. And as you can tell, I've probably had this for like a year or so, and it's almost done. At one point, I was wearing it all the day. This is pricey. This is a small one, and it was like $300. Uh, so I slowed down. It's probably one of my favorite. I don't know. This is just special. It's very, like I said, always, it's really powdery, but right, but it's very powerful. It's very rich. It's very feminine, too. Like, it just has a very distinctive smell. This is an amber floral perfume. So it's mild, mildly floral. And you can wear this. Like, that's why originally I wasn't going to add this because it's very, like, light, light mild but this is very long lasting and i would be lying to myself and to you guys if i didn't add it to the list because to be honest i wear this all year long and i also get compliments every time i wear this so i had to had to add it to the list the top notes for um maison francis kirk jen baccarat Rouge 540 are saffron and jasmine the middle notes are amber amber wood and amber gray the base notes are fir resin and cedar this was launched in 2015 and it's been i know like influencers made this like super super popular and just like the eat fragrance but like i said rightfully so this smells really good this this smells really good like at first i wasn't sure about it even when you're not sure about it but just the fact that you get complimented and use this and this is another perfume where you can literally smell it on your clothes if you spray on your clothes you will smell even after you wash your clothes you will still kind of smell it so definitely one of my top um most complimented perfumes uh when i'm out of this uh would i purchase this again absolutely <laughs> absolutely so that's kind of why i go easy on this because this is expensive the big bottle i believe is like 500 dollars. so so those are my most complimented perfumes winter edition if you're a perfume lover i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below what's your favorite perfume for winter or what is your all-time favorite perfume period let me know below guys as always like comment subscribe follow me on my social medias i will see you guys very very soon in the next video take care guys